Good. How are you? I'm great. How are you guys doing? Good. Yeah. How have the first couple days gone? Now I'm looking at the sun. Um, <laughs> uh, how have the first couple days gone uh, versus uh, have you gotten done what you wanted to get done? Yeah, first, your first few practices have gone pretty well. Uh, a lot of recruits have been out here, so we wanted to make it open. Um, offense is doing well, defense is doing well, no injuries, so all that. Uh, being a Saturday, I saw some, uh, some like some high school uh, people walking around. Are you going to have special groups out here today since it's a weekend? Yeah, um, Tom Lemming's having his photo shoot today, so we should have most of the top recruits in Southern Cal. I wanted to ask you specifically about the, the defense. Uh, a lot of, they, they were really good last year, but a lot of turnover with the uh, roster and the uh, coaching staff. Uh, first off, how is uh, Coach Malone doing? And uh, are there any going to be uh, any some significant differences from last year, or is there going to be similarities? Um, there should be a lot of similarities. I mean, we did lose a first round pick, so that's going to be difficult shoes to fill. But, you know, we got, we got a lot of guys that are. Uh, that are anxious for this opportunity to play. And, you know, that's what spring ball is about. You just get out there and let's see who can play. And if we need to address that in the portal, we'll address it. Has anyone, like, unexpected shown up to watch practice and surprise you? Not necessarily a recruit, but, like, an alumni or a supporter? Um, man. I saw Josh Kelly the other day, right? Yeah, Josh Kelly's been here. Um, Larry Atkins was here Thursday. I haven't seen Larry Atkins since I played with him. So, yeah, last time I saw Larry was a Rose Bowl. So it was just awesome just to see Larry. You know, I can't think of all the alumni off the top. Randall Goforth. Randall was here. Yep, Randall was here. See what I'm saying? So it's just so many alumni are coming back. I just want to be open. We're a family. So come be around us and come really enjoy what, what we have to do. How has that reception been like? Have uh, coaches, former players uh, reached out to you? Yeah, I've spoken to everybody. If you, It's probably easier for you guys to name people, and I can say, yep. <laughs> so, you know, I've, I've talked to Man, millions of people. My, my phone stays ringing from recruits and alumni. So, you know, it's just a, everybody's letting me know that they're supporting us, and I'm just happy that I have that type of support. How have you uh, handled it from just a time management standpoint, just having so many more responsibilities and kind of being, you know, the face of the program now? Um, it's just like when you got to college, you know, it's, you just got to really figure out how you're going to manage your time. You know, got to keep a schedule. You can't just freestyle stuff. You know, schedule and just stick to it so it's been fun you know just uh learning on the run you know I, I, i'm enjoying it it's, it's been fun and practice are going good you know we're just the easy part we finally got to one of the practices so i'm just excited for this opportunity and just going to continue to grow as you transition into head coaching have there been any parts of it that have been unexpectedly easy to kind of get familiar with or parts that have been difficult to, you know, to adjust to i mean i don't think anything's been difficult to deal with um, just you just have a lot more stuff on your plate you know a lot more admin things stuff like that but nothing that I wasn't already expecting or ready for yeah I know you said your phone rings non-stop and you got a lot of stuff to do do you have to almost consciously make sure you're taking care of yourself get enough sleep stuff like that yeah I'm at the bottom of the totem pole right now so that's, uh, <laughs> taking care of myself is I'll be alright you know I don't I don't sleep that much anyways. Wanted to check in on uh, on College Lee. There was a report that he was maybe going to enter the transfer portal. Is there anything uh, with that? Yeah, um, I think just he wants to go closer to home. I love College Lee. He had a great season for us last season. We would love for him to stay, but I completely understand. You know, being across the United States is difficult. How do you feel that uh, leaves your quarterback depth? And uh, do you think you'll be active kind of the portal to maybe, you know, yeah, we have a. Uh, it's like 15 days to figure it out. Well, well hold on. Nine days. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nine days to see if uh, if we want to um, address that. But you know, I'm excited about the room. So it's just a deep QB room. So it gives other guys some reps. And I'm excited to see if they're ready. Yeah. What about? Uh, let's talk a little bit about Justin Martin. Um, what are you seeing in him right now? What's your confidence level in him that if he's needed, he can be a very good quarterback for this team? Um, it's just that time for Justin, you know, um, I think he's ready for this opportunity. Uh, he gets a clean, fresh slate, new coaches, uh, new quarterback coach. So, you know, you get to really just start from the ground up. I think he's ready for the opportunity. We talked to um, the enemy yesterday, and he made it seem like the offense, at least, was going to be really collaborative. So I was 
So just how much ownership do you want to have and how much of your stamp do you want to put on this team and how much of it is collaborative? I mean, this is my team. There's no, no, there's no question about that. So there's no putting my stamp on it. What we do is what I do. As far as the, uh, going back to the events for a bit, uh, the secondary, you know, lost some experience there, uh, especially you know, the safety positions. What do you think uh, uh, you guys have got? I know you guys uh, had a couple of transfers come in uh, at those safety spots. Um, I'm just excited to see. You know, spring ball is a time to develop and see what guys can do. We fill the positions that we need to fill in the secondary. And I'm just excited to see if these guys can step up and play. And if not, then we'll be able to address them with their best. How is uh, your take on uh, Coach Castillo? Uh, how's he been doing with his group? And has anybody stood out on that line? Um, he's a very detailed coach. Coach is a Hall of Fame coach, basically, at the, at the line position. So the kids are gravitating to him. They love the detail and, and the techniques that he gives them. And, you know, um, a lot of young guys have, just not even talking about the starting five, a lot of the young guys have improved and you can see them. The growth, so I'm excited for that room. Um, I think I saw it on KB's shirt on the, the sleeve. It said like details and discipline. Is that new? Uh, I guess you know team uh, clothing with your pillars as a way of you know, propagating that. Um, I, th I think the details they already had that on their shirts, but um, you guys can't see them when they're in the weight room. That's it has the discipline, respect, and enthusiasm shirts. You can't see them. They're lifted. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How's it been with uh, Tony Washington Jr.? Obviously, you know, a lot of the staff on defense you know, did come back, but uh, obviously he's a new addition. It's been going great. You know, um, Coach Akaika truly believes in him, and, you know, especially to be able to handle the position. You know, so it was, it was good that um, Tony's played the position. I like guys that have played the position. Played the, the game, played the position, you're able to teach guys and, and um, Helped him in adverse situations because you've been there. So I'm excited for Tony. Um, Coach Bianami said, I think he said two days of installs per week and one day of review. So is that usually Tuesdays, Thursdays, install, Saturday review, or will it vary? It'll, it'll vary, but that's pretty much what it was right now. Last, last year, <clears throat> heading into the season, we asked a lot about the conditioning program. Uh, beyond play calling and play scheming, has there been any kind of new approaches to practice and getting guys just ready for the, the tolls of a football season? Well, it's a totally different practice now. We huddle up, so it's a little different. If you see guys are finishing 40 yards after each play, so you're getting more conditioning during practice than, than having the condition after practice. You, you, uh, one thing you said the last time I wanted to uh, just make sure I understand, you said something about eight installs. Uh, what does that mean? Just a good note, eight installs. Eight, eight. eight. What does the eight mean? Like eight, 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 eight plays? Or, I'm just trying to, like, what does that no, mean? So uh, install, do you guys know what install is? They know what installing is, but what is an install in itself? So an install in itself is, say we have, so the first install, there was three runs, eight passes. Oh, okay. So a package, basically. There you go. That's okay. one install. Got it. You got that? So yep. then the next install might be two runs, six plays. The next one after that, install three might be one run. Install four might not have any runs, and it's all passes. Install five might be just screens. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think we're good. Yeah, Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you guys.